Okay, kids, this will be a quick one. Welcome. We're in week eight now of our semester, so we're almost halfway there. We've got second partial exams just around the corner. For C++, it'll be in three weeks. And for the Python people, it'll be the five weeks, so it'll be the week after the holidays for C++ the week before. So let's do a quick view of what we got going here. Remember the weekly video is going to be in this section here all the time on the right. What should you be working on here as well? If you have any grading issues for partial one, make sure you get that reported this week uh, via the button here, here, grades, grading issue. And remember quiz five is actually due tonight, Monday night before midnight. Quiz six will be released soon. Work on your WSQs and masteries. You need 32 points before the end of partial two. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, so quiz number five is here. Make sure that you want to submit what is your WSQs your URL to your GitHub. Um, I was looking actually just today. We'll go look at Oscar's GitHub repository. I'll click on this repository you created. What I want is this URL up here in the URL bar. If you're using Safari, it tends to hide it. Go find it. And I can see that Oscar has his WSQ 3, 5, and 6, is which, which is what I required for this assignment. So you want to go ahead and copy this URL. Go to quiz number 5. Make sure you're logged in. If you don't see this black bar, or howdy, whatever your name is, it's, it means you're not logged into my site. And when you post this, it'll just look like some random person on the internet posted. You want to be logged in, post your URL to your GitHub, and put it up there so I can know that you've done that. I'll have to mark these all manually, so don't expect an automatic grade from that. So that's all that is for there. And then for WSQ uh, of the week, it's number 10. Uh, I'll just bring up the one for TC 1014, 1017, C++ is pretty much the same. The content's actually the same in the description, just the tag is different. So I'll bring that up. Again, you want to ask the user for 10 numbers. When you start, don't ask for 10, just ask for 2. Or even better, just self-populate in your code the values, and then you don't have to keep asking the user for the values while you're testing. You want to, again, go back to WSQ08 where I was teaching you to move from everything in the main program to creating functions for each piece. So you, since I'm asking you for three things here, the total, the average, and the standard deviation, you should be making three functions which receive this list, whether it's in a Python list or a C++ array or a C++ vector as a parameter. Remember a function should have everything self-contained. It shouldn't be accessing variables outside the function. It should only be accessing variables received as parameters at this point until we get to talk about objects. So make sure each function is self-contained. In the case of C++ and Python, you should define your functions at the top just after your, your imports or your includes and then have your main code down below. So make sure you implement this using the right data type for the C++ groups. I recommend you try to do it in arrays and vectors. Get that done for this week. Any questions, come and find me. And everything else is pretty much standard. I'll release that quiz six for you later this week. For the C++ group of Tuesday, Friday, I won't be there tomorrow. Yolanda will be there with you. Ask her for any help. And I'll see everybody during the week. Have an awesome week. Thanks. <laughs>